Yeah, so we're gonna to talk today about the Mustang seat. We run the, uh, the Mustang Tour Deluxe, which we've ran many miles with. What's up? Well, What's up? I, I got a present for you. You got a you box guys, is what you yeah, got. Yeah, you guys taking off it's on a this big box. trip. I got, this is their new featherweight shop. There's not shit in here, I can tell. <laughs> Well, you got me a box. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, man. You're welcome. That's... You got me kind of revved up because I do want some shocks. Now, well, I, I just thought legends. I'd get the juices full in here this morning. Well, did somebody get a nice pair of shocks? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got them out there on my bike. Yeah, are these the A's? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, that's the only thing. You got the around. gold ones. Yeah, I got the gold ones. Oh, shit. Well, you got me excited. Do I get the stickers at least? You can have the stickers. Well, they make good stickers. Don't they? they are nice stickers. Yeah, well, shit, man. All right, man. Thanks for the damn box. You're welcome. Jesus. You know, while ago you threw me an empty box. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's a trick. Tricky, tricky. Tricky, yeah. But now you want me to go ride my bike. Well, I want you to get me out of here. So, yeah, I want to go take it's a It's a badass ride. day. It's nice like, day in the Ozarks. February, doesn't get any better than this. You're no sleeves. No sleeves. Which is all the time anyway. Yeah. But, but it really is a nice day. It is nice, but I got a feeling that uh, they pulled my bike out here and told me to get the helmet and you wanted to go ride. So, I really... I'm trusting in, in you right here. I want to go check my bike out, I think. Because we did just did a bunch of stuff to it. Yeah, I think I need to look at it. Well, you so this is yours, though, Brian. Yeah, so I figured you wouldn't turn me down on a ride, so I went ahead and got it out, ready to go. We've got yours outfitted, just about ready for the trip. A couple little details we still got to knock out. We've got a new tire. New, new tire. tire. Yep, new tire. Uh, we put on a new phone mount. New phone mount. We did yep. a little trim work here. Uh, I know we got a bunch of new custom dynamic lighting. We ended up, we ran with the Mustang seat for 16,000 miles on this bike. Uh, Mustang sent us a new seat that has the gray stitching in it to match our bike. Plus our logo or my name in the side embroidered in. Um, so that's something we're gonna have to break in. And it takes a little time to break in the Mustang seat, but it's worth it. They did a really good job on this seat. They matched your color perfectly. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? That, I mean, that's definitely screams quality. Yeah. And as I'm sitting here looking at my seat, I can see legend. What? <laughs> I can see legend shocks right Man, there. Man, that was supposed to be a surprise. You, you ruined the surprise. I knew it. Well, these are the Revo A's. And oh, it, Revo uh, A's. Absolutely. So this is the exact thing that I run on my motorcycle. This is exactly what we talked about last time when we talked about shocks. They're on there. So with this one I have where I can damper, I can see it down there where I can set the dampering. That's right. You can make uh, dampening adjustments on the fly. We've already, you know, I kind of quizzed you about weight, kind of what kind of weight you guys were going to be running. Yeah. Well, there was a reason behind that. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I came up with, but it yeah. was lies. So it was because of that. So we already got the preload set up, which is super important for these legends, and we can talk about that later. But yes, you do have damping adjustments that you can make on the fly as you get used to this motorcycle and depending on how you have it loaded, whether you're loaded for a long trip or a short ride. Y'all put these on yesterday? Yeah, sometime. I want to go ride. Yeah, well, let's go check it out. I know that you're going to, uh, it's going to feel like a totally different bike right off the yeah, bat. Yeah, man, it's got a different stance to it, I can tell. Well, we went with the 13s, and the reason that we went with the 13s is I wanted to give you all the level of performance this shock had to offer. Once we set the sag on this motorcycle, it, when you sit down on it, you will be sitting at 12 inch height. Okay. So you're not going to feel any difference when you're sitting on it. Now, when it's sitting in a parking place or sitting unloaded, yeah, yeah it's going to appear to be a little bit taller in the back, but when you're riding it, when you're putting it through the corners, you're not going to lose any cornering ability. You're not going to find yourself scraping or something like that and you're gonna have 
all the capabilities of what this shock has to offer, which is a ton. Well, cool. I, hell yeah. No I'm wonder super you, excited. No, no for wonder you. you want me to go I've ride. I've been trying to like. I know. Keep it zipped here. Well, yeah, I know, I'm Steph really and I, excited. man, we're. We I'm excited be. for Steph. Too, well, I know, man. I know it's going to make a huge difference. Because actually, you know, we got up there to Sturgis this year, and I had back problems. Yeah. Like I couldn't get around very good, and we had to go through the chiropractor and get cracked a little bit. Um, which everything that I know about Legend, their their shocks are softer, they're longer, you know, wound. Yeah. But they bring them down, and then it's a softer ride. Well, they go about a lot of things different, but you're 100 percent right. You've done some of your homework, that's for sure. Yes, so I you're going to have a longer spring rate, but a softer spring rate than most shock. Um, and you can feel that when we pull the saddlebag off so you can feel these shocks get a better look at you'll you'll actually be able to move the spring because it is a soft spring With my fingers. yeah so they they're not to follow a trend that's already out there they created their own trend and they've got a I mean it's fantastic setup so Dude, I'm, ready I, to go, I, I'm ready to ride well, let's go do it you'll find that like you said going to Sturgis your, your back hurt we all know you hit a bridge wrong somewhere you hit a pothole wrong that can ruin your whole day maybe even your whole trip mm -hmm. I think you'll find that you're not going to be as worried about those bridge drop-offs those those sections in the road those potholes is what you want uh, what what you worried about before and I'm gonna take you across some railroad tracks yeah, so I we're gonna find cool. out Ooh, let's go ride this thing let's yeah. go for a ride here we go. We're going to try these Revo A out from Legend. New rear suspension. Freaking excited as hell. I might as well just say I'm fucking excited as hell. I do think it has a little bit different stance. I could tell when we walked out it did. Man, yeah, Brian shocked me on this because we'd been talking for some time. Yeah, so we're going to follow Brian out here and take it across the old bridge over here. It's kind of rough that we rode across a few times. So we know it's rough and we get to really try out the suspension. It does set a little higher as we can tell. So I'm gonna throw my leg over it for the first time and see what I think. Eh, maybe a little taller, nothing I can't handle. I'll throw my phone in the mount here. Steph jumps on the back. Yeah, oh. They might already tell the difference. Wow. No shit. We'll get out here and open her up. Yeah. 
good speed. Yeah. It's so we're hitting it, we're hitting it at 30. Oh, that's not, I'm a believer. Yeah. Man, I, man, I don't even know what to say. I knew you would be. It changed if I could buy this much because I'm buying it. A hundred percent. Can you imagine what the front would be like? Yeah. The, front, the front makes it. Well, when you've done the rear, it shows you the inadequacies of the front. Here's the front, the whole package, and you've got the handling and the rod. Dial in. Yeah, man, I, I, I can't be here. If you had the whole package, that'd be kind of front back. You'd have the pork spot. I'm smiling in here for you. Dude. Expecting that much difference. No, man. To get off that bike last time and it rode like it did, and now jump on it. Uh -huh. Like I said, it feels like a different bike. Yeah. It's there. It's um. It's smoother. It feels more controlled, and it has a. It's got a quality to it now. That it, it used to. It was kind of like when we go across stuff. It just kind of have a ride to it, like an old Lincoln. Like it danced. Yeah, it, it just kind of. And you dance to it. And, you, and then you bottom out. And you, uh, do, now it's just really smooth. But you still got some good softness to it. Yeah. You know, it's got a good smooth ride. So it, it's kind of a across the board difference. Big time. And, uh, you know, I know that we went over them pretty good little clicks so you guys didn't get to see them but those railroad tracks we went over are gnarly railroad tracks That's right. so those are ones that usually you would shift down into like first gear and like crawl across yeah. and kind of bump your way across them yeah that's and what if i did I looked we were doing a good 25 across them maybe even 30 i don't know like i was sitting there i was talking about it it was like i've never ran with good suspension yeah i, I didn't know any difference and you know it's hard to spend that money on something, you know, and it is, it's but expensive. You got this investment here, which you know now can be made even that much better. And then I go back to like what you said earlier. You're on your way to Sturgis. Maybe you aggravate your back. How does that affect the trip that you've got a lot of money into? Yep. You put suspension on the motorcycle. All of a sudden, now when you go across that railroad track that you're not expecting potholes you saw me normally some of those roads back there we went on some rough stuff <coughs> i would have dodged those those patched up places like the plague yeah i don't really worry about how it. how long have you had yours on so i've had them on this particular motorcycle what six months ago okay. since we did part yeah. one that was about yeah. time i did it but i have rode a lot with these shocks so here at Denny's we always try to keep a motorcycle <coughs> with these shocks on so anyone can come by here take one of these bikes out for a ride because you can listen to me talk you can watch videos all day long but till you feel like what you just felt you're not going to know what the difference really is no, I didn't understand that I think Harley Davidson should work with Legend and put their damn shocks on their bikes from the beginning they yeah. sell more bikes it would be a pretty interesting situation they'd, they'd sell it? more bikes that i'm i'm over the moon with these fucking shots man 
I'm still, man. If you guys hear a spaceship, that's my phone. So that's it. It's a good <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Off man. the cuff like we always are, the spaceship's my ringtone. Well, it's a good one, isn't it? Well, Sean. no one else ever has it, yeah. so that's kind of my own thing. Maybe it's legend calling. Maybe it's legend calling. They they got they sensed that you have now seen the light. Man, I am still shocked about that. So, um, Stephanie, what do you think? <coughs> I've got a camera on you, so... I really... I can feel a difference there whenever we went over the railroad tracks, for sure. Yeah. Um, Normally, it probably would have bucked you up a lot harder. Yeah, so one thing I was talking about is, like, it's not so much my back whenever we go over a rough spot or a rough bridge. Um, it's like my ribs, and I think it's the way I sit. But going over those tracks, going over the bridge, um, it was smooth. Yeah. Super smooth. It was a totally different ride than before, too. So, yeah, a lot more stability. Um, yeah, like I said, all around, over, overall, it was good. good. A lot better. Awesome. So, that's a great initial impressions. You guys come in, we'll get something to drink, and then we'll sit down, collect our thoughts, and kind of go over some of the ins and outs yes. as far as making some adjustments while you guys are out on the road and whatnot. Yeah. Man, we had a big discussion about shocks and suspension and going over what would be better for people to buy. We went over price points, really looked at everything. Yeah, it was kind of an overview of some of the options that are out there, some of the things that we deal with with stock suspension, kind of like a brief overview, but we're here today to cap off that overview. Aren't we? Yeah, so this is what really went down. In my surprise, I came up here to Denny's because they were doing our service and we're doing some other mods to the bike. Brian, had put a pair of legends on the bike. And he was excited to take me for a ride, I could tell. It was a great day today, so we'd gone for the ride and we came back. Steph and I both got on the bike and we took down some of these rough roads that he knew that were rough around here. Yeah, yeah, really rough. And we got to experience it firsthand, what these Revos will do. And I was impressed. There's no doubt that it's a totally different bike. Yeah, so, and you guys will have to bear with us. Uh, last time we were in a quiet place, less than quiet here. We're in the service department at Denny's Harley-Davidson. Yeah, so there are gonna be some interruptions, but that's part of the fun. So yeah, I had, there was no surprise that you would be happy because I knew from the countless people that I've done this modification for, including myself on my motorcycle, I knew that you would see a huge difference. When I got on the bike, my bike had a little bit different stance. I could tell it was a little taller. Got on the bike, Steph got on the bike, it settled right in. First thing when we got I mean, just as soon as I took off, it felt stable. It, it felt less springy. Still a great ride. When we got going down the road, I could really tell the stability was in ass in. We were smoother ride. Um, it impressed the hell on me going over bumps because you don't really think about going over bumps unless you have shitty suspension. Because every time we'd go over something, Steph and I both would, you could feel us clench up, get ready for that big bump. You Those know, days are gone. I seen shit coming, you know, and I was like, Ugh! and I was like, ooh, ooh, nothing. Well, and you're right, and further into that, the reason so is who wants their trip or their ride to be interrupted by the fact that you just hit a pothole, you jarred your back, whatever the case may be, yeah, now you're not having fun, your back's sore, mm. you know, more recovery where, when you get to where you're going. You don't have to be scared of potholes. Yeah, and I mean, you've seen so that first Congratulations. Time. As you're riding, you can see after a pothole's coming up, some of them you can't miss when you're coming up on them. Of course, we get all stiff, stiff leg and stiff back. I can't say it enough. Once we went over a couple of them, I started relaxing. I started enjoying my ride because I knew I wasn't going to have to brace myself for that next pothole or bump. You know? No, you're, you're exactly right. So, I mean, how many of us have had to maybe put more pressure on our floorboards, I dare say maybe even stand up a little bit on oh, our floorboards because we see it coming. And yeah. now, what if you're in a, st a staggered formation? Now you've got to worry about the person behind you. You've got to hit that bump whether you like to or not. You're worried about it. Um, so a lot of that distraction, a lot of that worry is now gone because these truly do eat up stuff like that. Now I'm not saying there are some nasty potholes out mm -hmm. there and this is still suspension. There are limits to what any suspension can do. But we have by far greatly reduced, you know, any kind of discomfort that you would have out there hitting these normal type yeah. potholes, uh, bridge gaps like what you're talking yeah. about. We have one right as soon as we take off out here, depending on what bike I test ride or what I take out. 
I hit them. I hit it every day going home and uh, coming to work and with my motorcycle with this set of shocks on it, I don't, I don't even feel it. First thing I noticed was how smooth it is and uh, you know I have stuff on the back as well. Mm -hmm. So when I hit those places not meaning to, I'm putting not myself but her yeah. into pain yeah. and discomfort. So it's a big load off my mind knowing that the legends are on the back of that bike and uh, I'm super impressed with them. And I got to read them a little bit more about them. Mm -hmm. So these are US made. 100% US made. That's in a lifetime warranty on it. Lifetime warranty. So there's peace of mind that goes along with now that ride comfort. There's also some some comfort to your thoughts too, knowing that you're fully backed by this shock. If there's ever a problem down the road, they've got your back. Well, and you know, like we talked in the episode before when we are talking about shocks, what really got me is you said, if you come to you and buy a pair and you don't like them, you're gonna take care of somebody on it. Well, yeah, yeah, so that's something that we do at Denny's Harley-Davidson, that it, it, it is our deal, mm -hmm. that, um, as far as uh, this is just something we chose to do. So if you come to us and you put Legend Suspension on the back of it, I do recommend going with the Revo A's, mm -hmm. or there is a next step up that we can talk about here in a little while. If everything I've told you is not what you feel when you take off on that ride, turn around, come back to us, you know, let us play with your adjustments a little bit or whatnot, but at the end of the day, if you're not happy with it, we'll take all the money you just spent on the Revo A's and the insulation to put them on, and we'll put them towards a different shock. And there's a reason I can do that. It's because nobody ever comes back. No, they don't man. come back, they leave with this shock, and they come back with big yeah. smiles on their face just like you and yeah. Steph did earlier. I mean, I mean, now that I've seen it firsthand, I totally get why you're doing it. Yeah, well, because yep. I don't have to take them back. I've had people come back, and we work with shock adjustments, and we'll work with you on that as well. Yep. Because you do have some on-the-fly adjustments. You did talk about the height change on your motorcycle, there was a reason that we went with that. When it's all said and done and everything's set up perfectly, it's just night and day difference. It yeah, just it doesn't totally get is. better. Um, and the adjustment on this, so you can hand set this, your cold setting. Yeah, so that's gonna be our preload setting. So what we're setting is the sag of the shock, how much it will actually sag when you put weight on mm -hmm. it. Now, you and Steph ride on your motorcycle 80% or more two up. So we're gonna set that up for you guys to be rode two up. So the weight's calculated. When you set down on a 13 inch shock, we wanna see an inch sag on it. You can adjust it without a tool. You can adjust it on the fly. If you need to adjust it when you get home because you're gonna go on a solo route, you can, or a solo ride, you can. Most of the time, you'll get by with a damping and adjustment and be just fine. But if you did need to do that, you could. So again, going back, we go for an inch sag on these. Now I go with the 13s, even though your bike had shorter shocks on it, by the time I set up for it to sag, when you sit down on it, you're really sitting at the height that you're used to. Mm -hmm. I did notice when I walked up there, my bike had a different stance, you which walked. looks great, there's yeah. no doubt about it. But uh, as soon as we got on it, it settled right into place. And nothing that I noticed any different pulling up to stop lights or stop signs to stop. I didn't notice anything different as far as foot height. That's one thing I do like about this, though, is being able to adjust it easy. And then, like you said down here, with the damper, and you have one, two, three, four, five settings. And like you were telling me, what we discussed, if I'm out there on the road and I need a little bit more firm ride, I can flip that all the way up to five. Yeah, you can. Now, I don't know if you'll end up going past five. There is a six on there. I generally don't end up going into the six territory. It's pretty darn firm at that point, but I could see you guys loaded down with a lot of luggage, whatever the case may be, clicking it up to four or five uh, yeah. in those type of situations. Like I said, we could just uh, saddle bag under them, kind of roll that saddle bag out and I reach in there and flip it. Or I could reach up underneath where we're talking about heat. But that's what's cool about these because you can yeah. adjust these on the fly. You can adjust them on the fly. You're right. Getting behind the saddle bag would be your best idea. Can you get to it from underneath? We looked earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. But your motorcycle's hot, your rotor's hot, you take a chance of burning yourself. Saddlebags are easy enough to pop the tops off, not, not even remove the saddlebag, yeah, but just kind of lay it onto your thigh and then reach down and make that adjustment to it. Well, man, I'm super excited to put some miles on these. And like we were saying, they have a different couple of models. We were always wanting the best ride for the best money. Uh, without a doubt, these aren't the cheapest set of shocks on the market. But I truly do 
think they're one of the best on the market. Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I have them on my own bike for a reason. Legends do, they have a couple other shocks. They have a, a set of Revos that are not adjustable, so they don't have the damping adjustment. Are they improvement over stock? Yeah, they're an improvement over stock. We can talk about some different shocks that might fit that mid-range. Mm -hmm. um, but really, when it comes down to it for a little bit more money to get that top notch, I think you're already pretty committed. Why not just, I've been, I've always thought jumping in both feet first, right. you know, and especially with something so important like suspension and comfort, let's just do it right. And so that's where the Revo A's have came into place for us. Yeah, absolutely. And, and more adjustable is better. And that takes us to, they have a step up as well, which has a canister on them. Yeah, so last time we talked, this wasn't something that we talked about because it was kind of brand new. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have, in fact, they, I think they really literally just dropped as soon as we had dropped the video. But uh, now they have their Revo Arc system. Basically, it adds a canister to it. It is their most premium rear suspension for a motorcycle. I hate to say it makes this a middle range shock, but I guess it kind of does in their mind. But still yet, again, I come back to these are my go-to shocks because these, these do increase the price a little bit. And maybe they're not for everybody, but if you're looking for the best quality suspension that Legends has to offer for the rear of your motorcycle. You may want to talk to me about the Revo Arc system for your bike and some of what that entails because there is a separate canister, hoses, uh, depending on which model we put it on. You know, the look's going to be a little bit different than traditional shock, but definitely a quality setup. And that's one thing I've liked about the story, which I went and read about Jesse a little bit and what he did. Yeah. And what he's done. Uh, pretty impressive overall, somebody working that hard and uh, putting that much time and effort into something. You know, it's a big passion. Yeah. Damn big commitment. Super, super excited to be talking about Legend Suspension today. And another thing, you know, if you like colors, they have uh, three different colors you can pick from too. As you can see here, it's just a black, and then they have the anodized, and then they also have the gold. Um, we did get the black and put on my bike. Yeah. And on your bike, you've got the gold on. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of weird like yeah, that. I wanted good. gold on it. I, I don't know why. Actually. But, you know, the anodized, just the, the plain silver, that mm -hmm. looks really nice. All of them have the black spring on them. Right. So any way you go about it, you're going to have the black spring. And that's something that, you know, probably begs to be talked about as far as the Legend suspension is how much spring is actually exposed. You know, part of their philosophy is having a long spring, a softer rate spring that plays into the whole formula that they've mm -hmm. put together to make the suspension that we've got today. But um, to go back to that, yeah, all of them are black. It just kind of depends on whether the body housing, top, bottom, uh, is going to be black, silver, or gold. And yeah, I went gold yeah, for some reason. Good. I like it though. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, you were talking about their spring. So what I, what I had looked up and read about is when they cool the springs, it's a longer spring, they compress it, but they're a softer spring. They so are. they have a softer rod. They are, so what's interesting, you've got your stock shock sitting yeah. over here, right? So just as a comparison sake, you can see how much shorter your spring is and how much less space there is yeah. on the spring between this one. But which is, what's also kind of unheard of when it comes to these springs is you can literally reach down and actually get movement out of the spring, which begs to say that they are definitely a soft rate. If you can get that to move, then you've been hitting the gym harder than I thought. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, it's a totally, you can tell it's a totally different thought process. I think they looked at shocks in a completely different way and they came up with a completely different product. You know, when these came out, there wasn't anybody coming out with a suspension like these. It's definitely a, um, you know, one of those companies that they're not looking at at reproducing something else that somebody's got. They come up with their own thing from the get-go and yeah, they, they hit it out of the park with the Revo A's. They're innovators, that's for sure, and that's what yeah. I like about it. Yeah, I was gonna show off your bike with the gold over here. Yeah, you can show it off with the gold on it. it. Definitely, it's the only thing on it that uh, yeah. is gold. Maybe I need to add some more gold to it, I don't know. We can do a little gold pinstripe <laughs> or something. So on Brian's bike here, he's got the gold set up. Um, which I dig. He was kind of questionable about it, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah I was kind of taking a chance. I never had the gold ones before. Again, I just kind of wanted to be different. In reality, it wasn't much of taking a chance because you can't, can't see, see them. But yes, I went with the 13-inch, uh, right. just exactly like what I put on yours. To, to the T, this is the same shock that you have on your motorcycle. 
you know, again, I go back to the 13. Depending on the person, if you don't have any height issues as far as needing to go lower than what you already are, yeah. then 13s are the way to go. Anytime you reduce the travel length any more than you have to, it's going to result in lesser ride quality. And of course, we're trying to do this for increased ride quality. But yet, again, we live here in the Ozarks. So it's, there, there's, a, there's not a straight road to be found. So, you know, grinding pegs, grinding floorboards, whatever the case may be, that's something that really happens pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we lower that and we go with the 12 inch and then we set up the, the, the sag on it a half an inch. Now I'm sitting a half inch shorter, give or take, than what you are stock. You're gonna start grinding things a lot more often. I get it, if we needed to do that, then that's what we need to do. In your case, in my case, we didn't need to do that. There was no need for the performance loss, so we went with the 13. Let's say you went out there to your bike and you didn't dig the fact that it may be set up a little higher, like you're looking for, let's, I show this motorcycle, it needs to sit low. Yeah. That could be another reason why this particular height will not work for you, but we know how many miles you run. We know that you're running with luggage, you need to be comfortable, we've got the corners. All factors took into consideration, that's why 13s are my recommendation. Different factors come into place, different recommendations come into place. So it's all about options for the customer. But you, Legend can handle it all, it's got yeah, absolutely. I sell, I sell quite a few of the 12s as well. Um, we have some different adjustments that we work through if we do sell the 12s over the 13s, but it's definitely something that we can do as well. So their original shock, their first shock that they have here is the... The regular Revos, yeah. Now those are going to run about $725 for okay. regular Revos. So if you talk to me, we'll probably mention that because I'm all about options. And throwing it out there, but I'm going to quickly go down to where my recommendation lies, and that's in the Revo A's, right. which are to the T, $200 more. Those are $924.95 uh, before installation or tax or anything like that. Uh, and for $200 more, you are getting the dampening adjustment, right. which is a rebound adjustment, but does also play a part into how the motorcycle feels upon compression of the shock as well. $200 well spent. Again, you're, you've are you already got one foot in the water, you might as well jump in both feet first. Okay. I think you're gonna be happier that you did. And then now, since dropping our part two video, we've got our ARC uh, option, which, you know, depending on which model you go with, as far as the ARCs go, on a touring motorcycle, you're looking at about $1,415.95. So there's, you know, there's a little bit of a price difference between the, the Revo A's and the ARCs. And that's something we can discuss, but again, I'm glad that we live in a, a world and, and we have a situation where we have so many options. Too, yeah. And that's what I'm here for, is to help you through those options, figure out what, one, best meets your budget, two, try to set you up with the right height, the right one for what you're looking for, and three, make sure that you're happy with them and they're set up properly when you leave here. Yeah, I mean, I know everybody out here, I mean, it's always about the money, and we want the best, and we want to get the most out of our money. Well, you know, we or do, we wouldn't yeah. be watching YouTube and seeing what's out here. Yeah. And now Steph and I, in about two and a half weeks, are fixing to head off for a kickoff ride. Mm -hmm. We'll be leaving here in Ozarks, going down to New Orleans for Mardi Gras, and then riding the coast all the way over to Daytona for Daytona Bike Week, and then back up and around. So then after we get done there, we're just going to give a really a review of how they did out on the road. I can already tell I'm super impressed, but it's really gonna do the review, yeah. a lot. You know, it's gonna have a lot to reveal as we're out there on the road loaded and going through all the shit that we do. I agree. I can't wait for you to come back from that ride and tell us, but you know, I watch your videos too. Yeah. So I'm gonna bet in fact, I would place a pretty large bet that you're probably going to mention something about these along the way because I think they're going to blow you away like on a trip that. like that. Um, Man, I so just, I'm going to look out for it, but I bet you we might get a mini review, whether you I've whether you to. expect to or not, because I think they're going to blow you away on this Man, trip. I, and honestly, I, it gives me the chills to think how lucky I am to have these on there because it really takes a toll on my ass. Yeah. I mean, you're hitting five, six, seven hundred miles if we do a day. Some days we don't do that, but those days we gotta hit it hard. Mm -hmm. 
shit, man, every comfort that you can get on that bike makes a big difference. A huge difference. And you talk about money spent. I mean, my motorcycle, your motorcycle, a lot of us, we have a lot of money, a big investment into our motorcycles. I mean, this is just that piece to the puzzle that yeah. could just make that initial investment even more worth it. Yeah. And you know, the next thing that I'd love to have on that box be the front end yeah so we, we didn't, didn't talk, talk about, about the front too much no we did but I did bring some front so we got to keep in mind when we do rear shocks on a motorcycle or I'm gonna speak in legends so we do a rear set of legends on the motorcycle that translates to 75 80 percent of ride comfort so if you say if the situation we're dealing with is we want to make you more comfortable out on the road we want to make the passenger more comfortable Rear shocks is where we start. Now, what we find, and what I feel like you may come back to me later, uh, or upon the review when you get back, is sometimes we do the rear, and it kind of gives us an inkling of the inadequacies of the front, and I can't talk. Well, and absolutely make you think uh, about so it. You'll that made it so much better back there, <laughs> what can it do on the front? Well, it, and it will make a big difference. Now, our motorcycles, we've got some we've got some good technology built into our new ones. We've got the new dual bending valves. Our front suspension on our bikes is better than it's ever been before, but it can be even better yet. You know, we talked about the Ozarks earlier. We have curves everywhere, no doubt, no straight lines, but what comes along with those curves generally are bumps. We got some rough old roads out here. Yeah, we do. So a big thing about the front cartridge suspension is it helps keep your tire on the ground. Keep that suspension a little less active and not bouncing around, dancing around, keeping your tire on the road all the way through the corner. So back to that 80% ride quality, mm -hmm. Fronts are going to be 75-80% handling. Now there's going to be some translate to ride quality as well as far as comfort goes, but you're going to see a huge increase in the way that the motorcycle handles, the way it handles those bumps, the way it handles braking, not diving. So what essentially what it is, it's, it's a cartridge setup. So we are still using oil dampening, but we also have a nitrogen chamber. So it kind of harks back to some of the technology that they've been using for years in sport bikes and, and dirt bikes and racing and things like that, we're adding to our existing suspension. I'm not an engineer. I can't tell you exactly how it works or why it works the way that it does, but I can tell you that it, it makes a huge difference in the way that motorcycle handles in a corner, your confidence when riding, as well as we all go, go in hot into a corner from time to time. You got a little bit more confidence that if that corner is a little bit rough, you're gonna be able to stick your line a little bit better. It's not gonna be dancing, washing out on you as much, and uh, then, then braking too. Wow. So if you end up, you did have to use some braking when you weren't expecting it, you're not gonna have that, that dive like you previously had before. So they do make a fantastic cartridge kit. Now again, it's adjustable just like this. So we're gonna set your preload on the spring before we ever drop it down into the motorcycle. We don't mess with the nitrogen. It's not something that we service. It's something that legends can if the time ever came or it ever came to be that you needed nitrogen done. That's something that uh, that they would have to do, but we do run oil in it, so your oil changes would still be the same as far as your fork oil goes, and it does come with a quart of oil. But we literally, we set your spring tension, we put this assembly down into your motorcycle, we put the proper level of oil fitment in it, or oil uh, uh, specification, that's a word, yeah. specification a good one. in it, <laughs> and, uh, and then we go from there. And something that, me and Steph were talking about earlier when she was kind of looking at some of their, their materials. Everything's really high quality with them. So when it comes to like their charts and as far as where their settings go, all the way down to their installation, there's a level of uh, effort that's put into these instructions and getting these set up it's kind of far beyond what you see with most products. Yeah, because so most of it's really vague. It can be vague. Of, they yeah. don't leave anything up for chance with mm -hmm. this, and they really nail it down. So, um, again, I'll be happy to, to hear from you when you get back from this trip, and I have no doubt, no doubt, that we're going to talk a little bit more about this front suspension. Yeah. So you guys should definitely stay yeah. tuned. So we've got some interesting stuff coming on that.
Yeah, that's, uh, you know, as you progress in riding, you get a little bit more aggressive. You get a little saucy in the corners. Yeah, man, you start riding. Well, you better if you live more. here in the yeah, Ozarks or right. you come to visit us because that's all we got. Yeah, and but, you know, with that being said, we want the best possible to get out there and do what we do. I have rode with some buddies that they have legends, oh. and it's set up. I've noticed now they can outride me. There's no doubt. But I do believe that it helps them. It gives them an advantage when they're out there riding because you'll see I'm slowing down. Mm -hmm. They're not. You can gradually see them pull away to the corners. Well, I know for it's a fact it gives them an advantage. Yep. It yep. definitely it does. does. Uh, and it also gives them peace of mind. So they've got an advantage as far as the way the motorcycle he feels, but they've also got a little bit different mindset going into that corner because yeah. um, – some of those things that we talked about that we worry about going into a corner, they're not as worried about. Kind of like with the rear shocks. Some of those potholes, bridge crossings, stuff like that we're worried about. Dude. We're I, not quite as worried about man, it anymore. I shit you not. I'm still shocked. <laughs> I'm still shocked. No pun intended. <laughs> I am because I was tucking. I was just like, oh, oh, oh it yeah. didn't hurt. Yeah. yeah. I just said, and that was it. Dude. Yeah. It was over. Yeah. I uh, mean, I'm impressed. I know these would be badass. I just got to hold them. Man, everything that they do looks so legit. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely quality. There's definitely a level of pride and craftsmanship when it comes to a company like this. You know, an American made company means well, a whole lot to me. I mean, you know, it stands means. behind their product. I wouldn't tell you about them today. I wouldn't be talking about them, spending our time in front of the camera Neither if I didn't believe that. Neither one of us will. Yeah. You can say what you want to say. If we believe in it, we're talking about it. It's because we've seen the proof in the pudding. Yeah. We've seen it. And this is sure <laughs> enough proving it to me. Once again, U.S. made product. You've got lifetime warranty on it. Lifetime warranty. You send it in to them. If there was a problem, you send it in to them. Quick turnaround, they send it back. Well, it's easy going. Yeah. Dude. If you're here, you just come see me. Yeah. If you want some of these, and if you're not here, Brian. still come see. Me. Yeah, come see Brian. Come yeah. up here to Denny's Harley Davidson, Springfield, Missouri, our hometown dealer. Couldn't be any happier than any other place than right here. You guys are always so good to us. We've got buddies coming up here all the time. We've got buddies this year coming from coast to coast, coming in to see Denny's Harley Davidson, getting some uh, service done on their bikes. If you're out and about and you're crossing the Ozark, stop by here. Meet Brian, check out all the crew, they'll do you right, and you'll have a good experience. You'll go away happy, I guarantee you, and feel like you fit in a family. Well, that's what Super we're shooting family. for here. This is, I mean, we're a family here, all of us here. Dude, we feel so our good. customers were a family, and yes, by all means, stop by, guys. I want to talk to you. Yeah. Please twist my arm, and we'll go for a ride. We'll test out some suspension. We'll do whatever. We need to be riding right now. Yeah, we should be. We need to be riding. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. It was a lot of information, I know. We're doing the best we can to show you what they have and the prices. If you like this video, please subscribe. You can be a member if you wanted to. If you know anybody that would like this content, share it with them. And don't forget to go check out Denny's YouTube channel as well. They've got one. They're always doing something. We're always in something or another. we got more coming up. Y'all stay tuned. And like always, y'all, stay on.